Prince William of Wales is presently loved and revered throughout the world. Some think he is a good candidate to be the little horn described in Revelation and Daniel. Let's examine this idea and see what we come up with. William's royal crest contains all the animals from Daniel's vision of the fourfold creature. A lion, a bear, a leopard, and a dragon. Revelation 13.2 And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power, and his seat, and great authority. Also, William's nickname in the Royal Navy was the dragon. The red dragon is also the national symbol for Wales. William's crest has a lion's head with a leopard's body and bare feet and a red dragon. There is also a unicorn on William's crest with the eyes of a man with his tongue sticking out and that correlates to the little horn of Daniel 7-8. The design around the unicorn's neck is called the eldest son label and has been described as three parallel horns which are, in a manner of speaking, plucked out by the roots or turned upside down. As for the red dragon, the symbol of Wales, William's hometown, is the dragon, and the symbol of London is the dragon. Now I already mentioned that his nickname in the Royal Navy is Dragon. Now the layout on his father, Charles' coat of arms, reads as follows. I serve the red dragon. I'm not able to pronounce those German words, so please read the screen. The occult connections of his royal family have been extensively documented. At the age of 25, Prince William became the thousandth member of Britain's most exclusive secret society called the Order of the Garter, parts of which are useful to the Military Order of Malta, Committee of 300, and Freemasonry. Charles appears to have been grooming his son William for the occult life. During his coronation, Queen Elizabeth gave Charles a regalia with a dragon featured on the rod, the ring, and the sword. Then Charles said, I, Charles, Prince of Wales, do become your liege man of life and limb, and of earthly worship, and faith and truth I will bear unto thee, to live and die against all manner of folks. If William is the little horn, then he is part of the beast of the sea. The lion on his coat of arms has a seashell on the collar. Also, when William was in the Royal Navy, the helicopter he flew was called the Sea King. Check out the badge on his uniform. That's the goat of Mendes. Doesn't that strike you as a little odd? Okay, maybe this is a lot of speculation. But listen to this. Author Mario Redding predicted that Queen Elizabeth would die at the age of 96 in the year 2022. It is said that he came out with this in the year 2006. He claims to have made these predictions based on Nostradamus's quatrains. His quatrains are four-line poems and they can be quite vague. But this man translated and interpreted them. This prophecy is ridiculously accurate for having been published in 2006. That's 16 years ago. Let me read to you what he wrote. Maybe this is some kind of predictive programming. Pay attention to what he says that's going to happen. This might be what they're planning. This quatrain will come as no surprise to the British people, and it has wide implications. The first is that Queen Elizabeth II will die, circa 2022, at the age of around 96, five years short of her mother's term of life. Prince Charles will be crowned in her stead and become king of the islands. The implication here being that he is no longer king of the other regions in the world over which his mother reigned, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, etc which will have, in the interim, become republics. Prince Charles will be 74 years old in 2022, when he takes over the throne. But the resentments held against him by a certain proportion of the British population following his divorce from Diana, Princess of Wales, still persist. The pressure on him is so great, 
and his age is so much against him, that Charles agrees to abdicate in favor of his son. The question is, which son? For in the last line, Nostradamus makes it very clear that a man will replace him who never expected to be king. Does this mean that Prince William, who would have expected to secede his father, is no longer in the picture? And that Prince Harry, by process of default, becomes king in his stead? That would make King Henry IV aged just 38. And unlike his brother, whose name does not add up to 666, Harry's name adds up to 666 in multiple ways. Prince Charles' name did add up to 666, but now his title has changed to King Charles, so it no longer adds up to 666. Get this, someone actually came up with 329 names for Prince Harry that equaled 666. The link will be in the description box. I don't even think Prince, I mean King Charles, even wants to be king. He was very irritable on the day that he signed the official paperwork. I just heard, is it September 12th? 13th, sir. Oh God, in the wrong day, Dad. Yes, sir. You signed the 12th, earlier. Really? Oh God, I hate this. Charles is having health challenges. You can see that his fingers are extremely swollen. In England, there's jokes being made about him, and he's being called Sausage Fingers. But it's William who hobnobs with world leaders. And it's William who voluntarily got microchipped in 1996. Some people think this will be like the satanic version of the Jacob and Esau story. Well, saints, let's just keep on watching. Thank you, Nomzamo. Hello and good evening, global citizens. So let's just wait and see. Harry has a controversial book coming out at just the right time. The book was supposed to come out this November, but the family told him to hold off on it. But I don't know if he will. I wonder what he's going to reveal.